the story of an ECE's past. Bro, my legs are cold as hell, bro. Michael like, bro, look down. Bro, I didn't even realize I forgot my pants. Mike like, bro, go get your pants. Bro, I haven't had none in a minute. Mike like on bro, but what happened to Shorty was talking about earlier? Bro, Shorty tripping, but isn't there some Shorties over there though? <laughs> so after we seen the females, we decided to go over there and see what's to them. So Mike like, yeah, I got a girl with the little cheetah pants. I was like, all right, I'll take a buddy. So instantly, right after that, I was like, mm-mm-mm, how you doing? So in that moment, I was thinking, should we sing? Mm hmm Or should we spit gag? Nah, I think we gonna Baby sing. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you, let me buy you a drink. So the girls get to laughing. She like, I see you got pipes. I'm like, of course I got pipe, but my voice ain't the only thing that got pipe. Really? Yes, sir. Then Mike went whispering my head like, bro, get a number. Can I get your number? 219-433. Can't say all the rest because that's a little too feathery. So I'm at the crib and Shorty get to text me. She like, I'm home alone. I'm like, what you trying to do? Send. All right, so Shorty is reading my text message fast as ever. Then she get to typing. I'm patiently waiting for her to finish. And I'm waiting. Then she hit me with that, my parents don't get home until 3 in the morning. So I'm like, drop your loco fat emoji. Huh, and sin. So Shorty still reading my stuff quick. Like, she must really want some. Then Shorty get to type in. And she's like, I right, bet I got you. So I hit her with that. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. So I send my little test message. And, bro, she is still reading my text message fast. So now I'm just patiently waiting. And waiting. And waiting. Dang, girl. And then she finally hit me with that. Okay, can't wait. And she used some pretty interesting emojis. So we in the car. And we just chilling this car. What's What's trying to do? What's she trying to do? Whatever you trying to do. Whatever you want. Give me a kiss, man. Damn it, Gina! Now I'm mad! Alright, so right before me and Shorty get kissed, tell me why a car pull up behind me and bro is the cops. Alright, so the cop get out the car. you already pulled over somebody. And he turns on a flashlight from his phone. I guess it's with the new technology, I guess. Buddy get to rain on my parade. Bro, I am heated. So I get out of the car. Registration, please. How you doing, officer? Is that a problem? So the cop was like, yeah, I just got a car from this house saying you park on the street. I look around like, dang, yeah, this is my first time in the neighborhood. He asked for a license and registration. I dig in my pockets and give it to him. He looked at it. Fixed his glasses. Looked at it again. Looked at me. Gave it to me. We was cool. Is there someone else in that car with you? Uh, Yeah, they asked me. Will we bring him out? Please. So I bring out the shorty. And bro, when I tell you Shorty had an attitude, she had an attitude. License and registration, man? Shorty like, I don't have it. What were you doing in that car? Shorty like, don't worry about it. You do realize anything inappropriate you were doing in this car can result in a violation and up on your record. Shorty like, you ain't gonna know nothing if I don't say nothing. Now, I don't know how this police knew that this was Shorty's parents' house. But once he found out, somehow, 
he was instantly on that. You do know this is your parents' house, and I could just go up to the door and tell them what she was really doing. So, officer, are you done answering her questions? Yeah, I'm done. So after he was done giving questions to Nuno, I let her back into the car because it was cold outside. So after I let Shorty in the car, I'm asking the cops, like, is there anywhere that we can finish our business? Because we was in the middle of something. You know what there is? There's a church around the corner and there's a park around the street. Bet I'm going to get into it. So I decided to shake the officer's hand, tell him thank you, so and he told him to be safe when I get out of the that. park? In the church, the church was closer and had a lot of parking space. So I decided to go to the church and instantly, as soon as we got there, bro, we went in. But I'm talking about moving my soldiers, you hear me? So we ended up doing that first round, you know, nothing or whatever. Took the condom off, <laughs> put the next one on. Got to move my soldiers just again, you hear me? So, after that, we got done. And, yeah, we had a good time. But there are a lot of learning curves to this story. First of all, do not park wrong in the street. Second of all, always do somebody in a place where you know the area. And third of all, if you don't know how to park, why are you driving? And we're gone.